Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, a woman who chose Jesus. She opened her heart so that her heart may be touched by Jesus, most specially present in the poor. May we also, like St. Elizabeth of Hungary, open our hearts to Jesus in the poor. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, Grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the Holy Ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive this scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with trimbal and harp. The Lord has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Please stand. Alleluia. Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, 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 alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you, and they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel reading today, Jesus wept. Jesus cried. Jesus shed tears. We were raised to see that crying is bad. That is why whenever a person cries, we immediately tell him or her, do not cry or stop crying. Because we see crying as bad. It is not good for you to cry. Bata pa lang tayo, kapag umiyak na, ang sasabihin agad sa atin, wag kang iiyak. Tumigil ka sa pag-iyak. But in our gospel reading today, Jesus himself cried. Which teaches us that crying is not bad. Crying is good. In fact, Pope Francis calls this a gift, the gift of tears. And Pope Francis reminds us that if you are given the gift of tears by God, it means that you have opened your heart to the other person. Sabi ni Pope Francis, kapag ikaw ay marunong umiyak, ibig sabihin, binuksan mo na ang puso mo sa kapwa mo. Kaya, huwag niyong pipigilan ang isang taong umiyak. O kaya, kapag nakita niyo ang isang tao na umiiyak, ay huhusgahan niyo agad at sasabihin nating may mali sa kanya. Nung isang araw ko pa binibiro si Father Reggie, sabi ko sa kanya, iiyak ka ba sa farewell mas mo? Sabi ko sa kanya, pustahan tayo kung iiyak ka. Sabi niya sa akin, baka ikaw ang umiyak. We make crying a butt of jokes. But Jesus reminds us today that He Himself cried. Not just out of disappointment to Jerusalem, but because of His deep love for Jerusalem. Crying is a sign of love. And it means that you have already allowed the other to enter you, to enter your life, to enter your heart. And you are able to have the gift of tears. In fact, even in our first reading today, 
John, who had this revelation by God, shed, he said, I shed many tears in the presence of God, looking at the holiness, the goodness of God, he was able to shed tears in God's presence, reminding us that tears is a sign of love. Tears are signs of a gift coming from God. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. She was a noble woman coming from a noble lineage. But even if she was raised in a privileged life, she had a heart open to the poor. And whenever she sees the suffering of the poor, her heart sheds many tears for the poor. That is why even if she comes from a privileged life, she did not really live a privileged life. She opened her palace. She opened her heart to the poor. She cried for the poor. And that is a good sign that her heart was opened by Jesus. Her heart was opened by the poor in the presence of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, from now on, I hope we do not make crying just a joke for others. We hope that we will not judge others because they cry. We will not stop others from crying. From now on, we will see tears as a gift coming from God and tears as a sign of love. Let us pray that God may grant us the gift of tears. Amen. Please stand. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. For every petition, let us say, Lord, let us feel your presence. Lord, let us feel your presence. That the church may become a living sign, an instrument of unity and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence that we may avoid making excuses in responding to the demands of our faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That life's misfortunes or sickness may not distract us from our resolve to follow Jesus, even in suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us feel your presence. That eternal salvation be given to the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let us feel your presence. God, our Father, may we never look back or hesitate to move forward in the journey towards your kingdom. May these prayers strengthen our faith. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Elizabeth, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please then. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Elizabeth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Elizabeth, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.